Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I know you've all seen those videos floating around social media of people stealing packages off porches, being porch pirates, uh, people breaking into back doors of homes, breaking into houses, going after your valuable possessions, maybe threatening your family, all those things. I'm sure you've seen those videos of all the different companies kind of showing how they can help kind of keep a closer eye 24 seven on your property and what really matters to you. And what I wanna show you guys today is this right here. This is a Blink X-T2 wireless camera wireless and weatherproof all right so we're going to go through the full feature set of this camera show you everything you can do with it i've had this in for about four months now i've been using it to keep it on the backyard using it to keep an eye on our kiddo while he sleeps to make sure he's okay uh well if he's taking a nap or something like that keep an eye on even like a game camera these actually have a range of about 25 yards and because they're wireless and weatherproof you can put them way in the back of your property and you don't have to worry about them having any problems at all and you can catch things like deer walking along or if you have to keep an eye on like maybe a front gate on your property things like that these cameras will do it and they're very very affordable um, as well as feature packed which is why I chose them to do this four month review so let's go ahead and take a closer look on what these can do and what they can't do and take a look at the features so let's talk about what comes in the box here's the box right here kind of goes through some of the basic features here this is a two camera box for the X-T2 and you can see it has a two-way audio which is really the only difference from the X-T1 to the X-T2 uh, but the two-way audio is nice two-year battery life no monthly fees great works with Alexa if you guys have one of those uh, you can see some of the features here, again, two-way audio, two-year two battery life on those lithium batteries, and of course, unlimited if you plug it into your power outlet, then you can have the batteries as a backup. No monthly fees for that cloud storage, day or night, HD, 1080p coverage, customized motion sensor, activity zones, works with Alexa, again, nice feature-packed setup. So you get the box, you get two cameras, you get two sets of lithium batteries, you get two mounts, base, swivel mount, screws, and the screws do not come with any kind of anchors or anything like that, you just get this, so it's really designed more for the outdoors, but if you do want to hang these on drywall, get yourself some anchors and pick those up to install as well. And you get one sync module, okay? This is the sync system right here, you just plug it in, link it to your wireless network, and this will run up to 10 cameras. So that's awesome. Real quick close up on the camera here. Again, I had a couple of these running for a good few months now. So they're very lightweight, pretty reliable in terms of how they're constructed. I mean, very well built for what they are. Um, they've looked cheap, honestly, but I'll tell you, they seem to be very well made. I hold up to the weather. I mean, they even went through a uh, hurricane, which ended up being like a category one by the time it went kind of past by us but works fine, no issues there, no leaking or anything like that. Um, this is the front of the camera right here, uh, blink badging, motion sensor, you have a couple of different indicators here. You have a blue light indicator as well as the IR indicator sensor. So you'll have the blue light will be blinking or turn on when it's actually recording. So you actually get a kind of a feel for when it's recording if you are looking at the camera. And the lens right there, nice compact size, X-T2 badging, uh, audio actual speaker right here. Audio microphone right there. Microphone again is pretty much the only difference between the Gen 1 X-T1 and the new Gen 2 X-T2. All right, here is your plug outlet right here. And you'll notice that as soon as you remove that, of course, it does make the waterproofing go away. So you wanna make sure that if you do use that and you wanna plug it in and use a power source, it is now an indoor camera, unless there's some other way you can house this and protect it from the elements. All right, there's a little uh, button right here. Again, rubberized, waterproof. You just push down lift up all right and what that's going to do is allow you to see the batteries all right and then under my finger here is the qr code and then it says right here you have to do lithium only batteries it doesn't want to use alkaline it doesn't want anything that could potentially leak and really mess up so don't use cheap batteries lithium only only high quality batteries and again nice o-ring seal all around there and to put back on you just click it into place Good to go. Also how the mount works itself, you'll see there's some tabs here on the mount and little tabs there. So you can go ahead on the base part of it, it'll lock in with an anti-rotation, put the screws through, just like that. It doesn't really matter if it's level or anything like that because this will be able to swivel and you can choose the direction and where you'd like the camera to go. The swivel is a simple push button. So basically you have a ring here and a ring here and you're going to pretty much just take your mount and click it into place. It is a very stiff lockup. 
You'll see that, no issues there. Nice reliable feature. So those have worked great so far and I haven't had any problems with them. So here is the X-T2 in our kids room on the newer mount. Uh, this one actually needs to be better anchored in. I went ahead and just kind of installed this pretty quickly and just drilled one into a stud and the other screw is kind of just wobbled there. So you can kind of see how it wiggles a little bit. If you put an anchor point on there, it's not going to go anywhere. So I can probably fix that. But that new anchoring mount itself works really well. Here's the camera itself and there's a wire, as you can see, leading right to it. This wire does impede some of your downward uh, motion if you want to make the camera go further down. So just note that. You can see how it kind of had to bend it a little bit. Um, micro USB, waterproof flap. When you open a course, like I said, you can't put these outside if you open that flap up. But it is nice that this cable here can run all the way down to a power outlet and this camera will be always on all the time and it does have the ability to put batteries in it if you'd like to have a battery backup in case the power goes out. Not that it really matters if the power goes out or the Wi-Fi is out, but something to note, maybe the plug dies, something like that. You can always have the camera up and running with backup batteries. So as I walked into the frame, the motion sensor caught me walking across the camera view, and it's a test of about seven yards. Good audio, good HD quality video. You can clearly see someone walking around if you have it in your backyard or on your back door. So this is our kids' room, little two-year-old Colton, he just turned two. I know it's a little messy, we just picked up this Jeep Wrangler bed off Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but you can see it works really well. Um, it's kind of like a kid monitor, kind of keep an eye on the room, make sure it doesn't fall out of bed, or if he does, you'll at least know ahead of time, I'll just kind of see what happens at night, making sure he's okay. Um, make sure you put the camera away from windows and lights, because that IR will be washed out if uh, you end up putting it too close to a window, especially if it's dark in here and like light seeping in through the windows. So. This is great, works really nice as a kind of a baby monitor and having any problems with it. Seven yard test, night time. This is a test of the audio speakers from a camera setup about five feet away. So you can see audio is fairly clear and you can definitely communicate back and forth with someone by holding the talk button in the app and then releasing it to hear the live audio coming from whoever is outside. So let's talk about setup and then we'll go through some of the features on the app and for these cameras. First, you'll need your sync module right here. You'll have a power light right there and a Wi-Fi connectivity light right there. You're gonna wanna go ahead and plug this module right in next to your wireless router make sure it's nice and close. And then you're gonna go ahead and download the Blink app. This is the Blink app right here, the actual interface right here. And what you're gonna go through is a typical setup for a new device. So you're gonna go ahead and download the app. You're gonna create a new login, create credentials. You're gonna sync the little module to your wireless network. And something to note, you do need two megabytes upload speed at a minimum to run these cameras and to review the footage and to connect live for live feed. So just know two megabytes upload at a minimum try to get that so you can actually run these cameras, okay? So right off the bat here, you can kind of see some of the basic features on the front. This is the front with the ability to add up to 10 cameras. I have the two right here currently on there, but we do have more cameras in, so I will be continuing to test these cameras out. Uh, you have your settings right here, you have your profile information right here. Speaking of profile right here, that little drop down is actually your home setup right here. All right, it's just gonna show kind of what you have. So example, if this is like your guest house or if it's something that you have for outdoors, you can name this whole system something other than home. Um, over here on this top right is your folder. All right? You do have a limited amount of storage and you can select with this drop down how long you wanna keep those files available to you um, and they will delete it automatically after a while. But again, free cloud storage, huge plus for this system alone. Uh, you can see right here all the old footage you can go through, you can scroll through, you can click on it. Let's see if it'll work. Turn the volume down here. So there's an echo on the camera, but you can click on it. You can kind of see live footage of the dog going out to do her business. So there you go. Um, and then on the camera side over here, you have a couple of things. Each camera you can rename whatever you'd like, backyard, whatever. The little walking guy right here makes it so the camera is armed, individually armed. It turns blue. Everything in the app takes a little bit of time like everything else over wireless networks. Um, and you have a settings, and we'll go into that in a second, but I want to show you, you do have each camera you can arm and disarm individually. All right, and then you also have a master button down here. So right here, this arm button, if, let's say if you're home, you don't need to record anything, you can go ahead and slide it off. 
and it's going to disarm the entire system all at once or back on. It'll react, there you go. And then over here you have the sync to let you know that there's a green line connected to your wireless network. All right, so these pictures right here, if you click that camera button on either one of these, that takes a new thumbnail image. So if you can, you can always change your thumbnail image. These right here are the video clips. These are the live view. So if you click on that, you'll see everything takes a minute. It's wireless, so you just click on it and it's going to pop up right now as a live feed. And there is the old talk right there that we talked about earlier. And right, you just hold it, it's like a walkie talkie. If you hold that, you'll be able to talk out to somebody and you have to release it to be able to hear them. Because when you push this, the audio coming to you stops. All right, um, now the settings, that's what I was gonna show you guys next here. So the settings right here, um, there's some really cool features of this camera and it's part of the reason why I picked some of these up to test out for you guys. Um, of course, you can change the name here, the battery level's okay. These are running four months now, did not have to change any of the batteries yet. So the batteries that do say they last up to two years, that might be getting close. Now that all depends on these down here and we'll talk about that. Temperature readout, show how hot it is outside. You can go between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Um, enabled motion detector if you want to have detection on motion. Activity zones is a really, really good feature. This usually costs extra. You can go ahead and black out certain spots you don't want to record activity near. And then you scroll down here, you'll see that the activity zones here, re-trigger time, sensitivity, and clip length, if you can guess. The less you have of a clip length, the less memory is going to take up, the less batteries going to be used because these don't activate the cameras until it senses motion. Once the motion is activated, batteries are start being, going to start being used a lot more heavily. Going to drain your battery if you're having this camera on for a minute at a time every time something is triggered. Speaking of trigger, re-trigger time right here is 20 seconds. Now what that means is every 20 seconds after you record your 10 second clip, it'll record another clip if there's still motion and sensitivity will decide on how much motion you might see until something triggers the camera to turn on. All right, going down here, end clip early, just keep that on. That means if the motion stops, there you go, <laughs> dog's walking around outside, motion stops, it'll stop immediately and not waste any kind of energy or waste any of the actual memory on the cloud cam. So uh, going down here, IR is your infrared night vision. Um, controls, you can do on, off, auto. Auto is good to go. Usually it's pretty quick to go jump back and forth if it gets daylight tonight, um, or if you open blinds or things like that, it'll jump over to daylight mode versus IR night vision. Uh, intensity, just keep it maybe medium, but you can kind of play around with it. If it's a really dark room, go high. It might rate it a little better, but just know if there's any kind of light on high, it's gonna wash it out a little bit more. Audio settings going down, microphone enabled, speaker volume outside quality of the video, quality coming in. If you want to do a little bit less quality, save some of that memory, save some battery life, or if you want to do more enhanced, or just go kind of right in the middle of the best level there. Uh, last update, you can go and update the firmware right from the app right here whenever you need to. Camera to Wi-Fi is your signal from the camera to your wireless network, and camera to sync is the signal from the sync, which is bouncing off of your wireless network, and there's your firmware. And of course, you can delete the camera right there. And when you're done, hit save. Automatically saves all your settings, and then you can go ahead and keep using your cameras. Last thing you see right here, a warning up here, it'll let you know if there's a lot of activity in the backyard or the front yard. And that's actually to let you kind of a warning to let you know the battery is being used up a lot quicker. So high activity areas, you really want to try to steer clear from, from it all or disarm your camera when you're home. That way you can save some of that memory, save some of that battery life and not have this camera going on all the time. Um, so it is nice to have the wireless capability, but just know it does use a lot of battery if it's a high traffic area. So that is it guys for the review on the Blink X-T2 camera. Uh, you can see these have worked really well. I've had them for four months now. Uh, the only issue I really have is the apps a little slow at times, but you're gonna have that a lot with any kind of cameras like this that are bouncing off your wireless network. And the fact that you can actually have them at ranges up to 25 yards, you can plug them in the back here. They are completely wireless. Otherwise with batteries that last up to two years, these are a great buy and they're very affordable for what they are. Uh, you can pick them, these up over at Amazon. Uh, I think they're an Amazon company, so you can only really get them on Amazon, the Blink X-T2. Links down in the description below and I'll also put the link down in the comments as well. Um, if you have any questions at all, hit them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. I'm gonna keep using these. I'll probably get a few more. We'll keep testing them out, but they seem to be a great buy and it's never been easier to secure your home and make sure your loved ones are safe.